Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install Ruby on Windows. It's actually a pretty easy process. Essentially, all we have to do is use a Ruby installer that we can download from like Ruby's official website, and it'll basically walk us through all the installation instructions. So I'm over here on this website. It's rubyinstaller.org forward slash downloads. And this has basically a Windows downloader that we can use. So you'll see down here, there's a bunch of different options. I'm gonna be installing uh, the latest version at the current time, which is Ruby 2.4. Um, just a quick disclaimer, the instructions in this video aren't gonna work for Ruby versions below 2.4. So below 2.4, there's actually a different way that you can install it, but after 2.4 and above, then you can follow these instructions. So I'm just gonna click this and it should start downloading. When the download has finished, now all we have to do is run that program. So I'm gonna go over to my downloads folder and you'll see we have this Ruby installer. Let's double click that and it should open up a window that we can work with. All right, so I'm just gonna click through all the options on this window, I'll accept the license. And now Ruby should start installing on our computer. All right, when the installer finishes running, all we have to do now is install one more thing. So you'll see over here, there's a checkbox. It says run RIDK install. You wanna make sure this is checked and I'm just gonna click finish. So this should actually open up another window here. It's just, it says Ruby installer two. And you'll see over here that there's three options. So the first one says MSYS2 base installation. Second one says system update. And then here it says MSYS2 MINGW development tool chain. Just for the purposes of being thorough, we're gonna go ahead and install MSYS2 and the MINGW development tool chain. Um, and I found doing this, it's best to just enter all of these options in order. Um, sometimes when you enter just three, then you get an error because certain things aren't updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in one, and then after that's done, two, and then three. And if we do that, then everything should be able to be downloaded correctly. So I'm just gonna click one, and we'll go ahead and run this. When that's done running, then we can just click two, and we'll run that. And this is gonna go ahead and update everything that we just installed. And finally, I just want to click this third option. So I'm gonna type in three and we'll run that. All right, once you've run all three of those installers, then we're officially done with installing Ruby on our computer. The last thing I wanna do is just check to make sure that everything got installed correctly. So I'm gonna go down here and inside of my search bar, I'm just gonna type in CMD. So I'm just gonna type CMD and this option for the command prompt should come up. So you just wanna click that. The command prompt is basically just a way that we can interact with the computer by giving it text commands. And we can go inside here to check to see what version of Ruby we have installed. So essentially what I wanna do is just type in Ruby hyphen V. And when I click enter, this should tell me the version of Ruby that I currently have on my computer. So as long as you're getting a version with the Ruby hyphen V command, then you have Ruby installed on your computer and you're ready to start writing some awesome programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.